Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I thought we'll still work on some uh, resistance and stuff for today. So you still need the weight and you will need the band. If we set the band so that it's ready to use, I'm just going to get one end of the band, I'm going to wrap it around the foot and then I'm going to create a little pedal, a little loop I can put my foot in. So I need a um, knot or some kind of hold to keep it in place so that it doesn't undo, it doesn't come undone. So it's a little pedal I can use to push. So the band is ready, I'm just going to put it to the side. I'm going to start off in a seated position. Resting the hands behind the hips, you might have to play with the distance, trying to find the right distance that works for you. And then from there, I'm just going to bend the elbows, I'm going to let myself roll back halfway, and then I'm just going to push myself back up. See if you can think of a mixture between the arms are supporting, but also the belly tensing. The back is rounding, the belly trying to scoop in and tighten, so I'm just going to try and drop and then push back, drop and then push back. Relaxing the neck, making sure that it's not the neck that is driving. So I'm happy with the movement. I'm comfortable here. I don't need to change anything. I'm going to stay here. If I feel that this is quite easy, then I'm going to try and see if I can bring the legs a little bit closer together and then lift the feet off the ground. I'm going to keep the feet off the ground as I get my little up and down. Just a little bit more activation through the bottom of the belly <coughs> and the front of the hips. Making sure that you're still rolling so there's no pressure on the back. If I feel that the movement is still feels quite easy, then I'm going to try and see if I can open. So as I drop down with the arms, I'm going to open up with the legs and then I'm going to close back. So I'm going to start with a little movement and then progressively see if I can make it bigger. No strain on the back, making sure that I'm still rounded. So I want my lower back to touch the ground before my ribcage gets there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and releasing down, relaxing the legs, releasing the belly. I'm going to lower myself all the way down until resting on the back, extending the legs away, extending the arms away, allowing the front of the belly, the front of the hips to stretch out, to, to open up, to relax. And then this time I'm going to reverse the effort. I still work, want to work through the center, but instead of having the effort at the front of the hip, I want it at the back of the hip. So I'm going to grab hold of the band where I tied that little loop and then I'm just going to slip my right foot into the loop. Making sure that the band is safely tucked around the foot to snow chances for the band to come off. I'm going to set my neutral, I'm going to raise the right leg up into tabletop and then think of the right arm. With the right arm I'm going to reach up above the shoulder. What I'm doing with the arm at the moment is just holding. So I'm going to work on the shoulder joint, shoulder girdle, stabilising the shoulder. I'm going to start pushing the leg away. What I don't want is for the arm to go with the leg. So I want the arm to stay and the leg to go. So I need to find the right amount of resistance that allows my arm to stay in the same position, making sure that the leg is not pulling it. So it might be a little movement, it might be a big movement, it doesn't matter, just to see if I can keep the shoulder stable. Working with the back of the hip, with the back of the bum to drive the leg away. I'm happy here, I feel comfortable here, I'm going to stay here. If I feel that I can progress the movement, then I'm going to come back with the right leg, I'm going to lift that left leg up into tabletop and then I'm going to keep the extension going on the right. 10, 9, 8, lower back still in neutral, 
seven, the belly's still active at the front, six, making sure that if the left leg is lifted, five, it's not hanging, I'm not curling it towards me, four, three, two, last one, I'm going to extend the leg, hold, with the arm I'm going to go for a little pull, one, two, this time see if I can hold the leg still while the arm is pulling, three, four, five, six, relax the neck, re neck relax the jaw, eight, nine, straight arm, ten, and release and back. Is in the tension of the band, I'm going to pull the band off, a double check that the knot is still safe as it tends to come undone as I keep pulling. And then I'm going to place the band around that left foot. I'm going to repeat the same pattern on the left side. So I'm going to lift just the left leg I'm going to raise the left arm up above the shoulder and then stabilizing the shoulder girdle, I'm going to start pushing the leg. So see if I can find the right amount of tension into the shoulder that is going to prevent the arm from being pulled forward by the movement of the leg. Just extending and then controlling back. So same as on the other side, I feel comfortable here, I'm going to stay here. If I feel that I can progress the movement, then I'm going to lift the right leg up into tabletop, holding the right leg nice and sharp, the belly still tight, I'm going to extend the left leg away. One, two, see if you can hold the arm straight, three, if the shoulder is unstable, the bicep will tend to lock in to help me stabilise the arm. See if you can think of the shoulder doing the work. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, I'm going to hold the leg, pull with the arm. One, control back. Two, leg nice and still. Three, relax the neck, relax the jaw. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and ease and back. Releasing the tension from the band, slowly taking the leg down, relaxing into the shoulder, relaxing into the legs, into the arms. And then I'm going to change the focus, so trying to bring it more into the upper body. This time, both arms are working together. So I'm going to grab hold of the ball, grab hold of the weight if I want to. Leave it to the side if you feel that is too much. I'm going to keep the legs extended away and then tucking the chin into the chest, reaching the arms up to the ceiling to begin with. I'm going to tilt the chin, lift the head, lift the shoulders. I'm going to reach the arms towards the feet. See if you can try and keep the legs relaxed. So I'm not trying to seat up, I'm just trying to curl the back of the shoulders off the mat. So the belly's nice and tight, the legs are floppy, the toes are soft. I'm going to release my way back. I'm going to reach the arms behind. See if you can be aware, as the arms go back, can I keep a stronger connection at the front? So can I make sure that the belly doesn't start lengthening and lifting so the ribs don't start flaring, the back doesn't start arching, 
Can I keep the connection at the front of the belly? The ribcage is still down. I feel that the belly is active, it's working, it's preventing me from arching. Then I'm going to ease the arms back. And then as I reach forward again, tilting the chin, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders, I'm going to try and curl up as far as the shoulders are off the ground. See if you can have a little look around, just making sure that it's not the chin that is poking forward, the neck that is really stiffening and tensing. The neck is just working to hold the head up above the chest. And then I'm just going to ease my way back. Connecting through the center, how far can I take the arms? without letting the rib cage arch. I don't want the arms of the weight to touch the floor. I'm going to return back and then reaching forward, tilting the chin, curling the head, curling the shoulders off the mat. Again, the little side to side, freeing the neck. And then I'm going to ease my way back and then reach behind. If I feel that the movement feels quite easy, quite comfortable, then see if you can repeat the same, but instead of holding the weight with both hands, see if you can hold it with one only. So I'm going to reach forward into the arms, holding the weight with both hands. As going forward, it's not going to make much difference to my load. But as I go back, I'm going to let go with one hand and then connecting through, I've got the same weight, but this time it's loaded onto the same shoulder, onto one shoulder. Then I'm going to ease back, I'm going to grab hold the weight with both hands, tucking the chin, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders, curling my way up, and then controlling back, and then easing my way down on the other, and then pulling back up again. No pain into the shoulders, it's making sure that you're not creating pain and strain into the joint. Stronger connection through the center, relax in the neck. Notice how one shoulder might deal with the movement compared to the other. One shoulder might be feeling really stable, really strong. The other shoulder might feel a bit unsure or a little bit unsafe. If it does feel unsafe, I'm not going to go too far. Remember the back and my arching is the chest lifting. Can I keep the connection at the front of the belly? Six. Seven. Eight. Think of a nice a flat belly, so see if I can really draw the abdominal in and up as I'm coming up into that little curl. So making sure that the belly doesn't look as if it's pushing out, it's doming, it's bulging. Last one. And releasing down. Pushing the weight to the side, relaxing the shoulders, making sure that the neck doesn't feel stiff, it doesn't feel tight. When you're ready, reaching forward into the arms, tilting the chin to the chest, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders. Strong through the center, all the way back up to the top. As you get to the top, taking the legs around to the side, coming up and around them, so you're down on your front, down on your belly. Working with the little extension, trying to open up and lengthen the front of the body. I'm going to set the hands roughly by the side of the head, not close to the head. Nice and wide, nice and comfortable position. I'm going to retract the shoulders. So think of squeezing the shoulder blades together and depress them, press them down and away. Reaching forward from the top of the head, I'm going to scoop up from the belly and then I'm going to start lengthening. So imagine to be creating space first. So I'm going to lengthen and lift up until I can feel just my lower ribs touching the mat. And then I'm just going to ease my way back down. 
And again, I'm going to retract and depress the shoulders and then lengthening, I'm going to lift into that little extension. So see if you can think of a little hinging point just between the shoulder blades into the middle of the rib cage. So see if I can get that point to move a little bit through, especially if I tend to be a bit hunched forward, rounded shoulder. See if I can really encourage a small lift but see if I can think of changing the shape of my upper back. So I don't want that rounded, hunched forward shape. I'm trying to lengthen in and flatten in. So my lower back is not compensating. My lower back is quite comfortable, feels quite loose. If I feel that the movement feels comfortable enough, I've got a good response from the thoracic spine then I might start pushing up into lumbar extension. So coming up into that full swan, making sure that you're still active through the shoulders. So I'm not sagging. My shoulders are not suddenly touching the side of my neck. See if I can think of the head lengthening away, pulling the neck out of the shoulders. Then I'm going to ease my way down. <coughs> and then I'm going to extend away again too. Then on the next one, it doesn't matter if I'm coming up with a thoracic extension or if I'm going into the full lumbar extension too, I'm going to see if I can have a little rotation. So I'm going to lift up, I'm going to turn to look to the right. Turn to look around to the left, come back to center. I'm going to ease my way down. Then again, I'm going to extend. I'm going to turn to look around to the left, turn to look around to the right, come back to center. And then I'm going to release my way down again. Two more times, extending my way up, looking around the right, looking around the left, back to the center. Releasing down, last time, extending up, looking around the left, looking around the right, back to the centre and releasing down. Pushing back onto hands and knees, stretching back into shell, stretching back into child, allowing the hips to reset, the back to lengthen. Three, two, one and release and back i'm going all the way back up finding a comfortable position i hope you've enjoyed that little session any question comments feedback please do let me know i'll try to get back to you as quickly as i can and then remember the dates for the next the sardinian yoga pilates and yoga and pilates fusion uh, retreats are now out on my website if you're interested just have a look um, just below the video in the notes. You should be able to find that link. Have a boss of yours soon in Sardinia if we can. Bye for now.